Hello and welcome to this chapter Profit Loss and Discount. In this video I'll discuss with you the basic concepts and terminology around profit loss and discount. I'll also teach you the concepts of marking up and discounting and we'll also see what is the resultant change that occurs when both of these effects are applied together. Most importantly in this video we will do all of this through a new approach, a new method which like our previous methods with with solve questions in 15 to 20 seconds that means eliminating any unnecessary calculation and we will not get into any equations. So let's get started. Now first in this chapter I'll familiarize you with the concepts and terminology. So I am sure all of us already know what is SP your selling price that means selling price is nothing but the price at which you sell things that means price at which you sell things your cost price is nothing but the price at which you have bought things or purchased things. This is very simple and profit or loss is the difference. So profit of course is your when your SP is greater than CP that means your selling price is greater than cost price. So I will say SP minus CP and similarly you can calculate loss which would be your cost price minus selling price. Meaning if I bought something for let's say 100 rupees and I sold it at uh, 120 rupees right so this becomes my 120 is SP so I got a profit of 20 rupees if I bought something at 100 rupees and let's say I sold it at 80 rupees I incur a loss of 20 rupees right so this is what I'm trying to say by profit and loss now one mistake that I've seen students making is that students sometimes say so let, let me give you an example let's say the question says an article is sold at 100 rupees and you incur a profit of 20 rupees. So the question is what is profit percentage? Now what people do is they may do 20 upon 100 into 100 that means 20 percent. Now this is absolutely wrong. Please understand profit percentage or loss percentage that means profit or loss both are realized at cost price not on selling price so in this case when you say a article an article is sold at 100 rupees profit is 20 rupees meaning what meaning the cost price is nothing but 80 and your profit that you made is 20 so this should be 20 upon 80 into 100 which is not 20 percent but 25 percent so be careful ar around this profit and loss percentage always realized at CP. A slightly different concept which is rarely asked but uh, anyways I'll tell you. So margin, margin is nothing but your profit that is realized at your selling price. That means profit is always realized at selling price and this is usually the profit percentage in percentage terms. So this is your basic terminology. Now if you talk about attempting questions I would say in this chapter you will see we'll extensively use this ratio SP upon CP. Very very important. What this means is if let's say you already give, given let's say 150 is your SP upon your CP is 100 you should automatically say what is the profit or loss. Now SP is greater than CP meaning there is a profit and by what is the percentage of profit this is 50 upon 100 which is nothing but your 50 percent your profit so this is something that we'll extensively use in this chapter if let's say i say sp upon cp equals to 75 upon 100 so you can calculate that yes this is a loss because your sp is lower than cp and a loss of 25 percentage now Let's attempt a few questions to further this understanding. So it says the CP of 10 items is equal to the SP of 9 items. Find the profit loss or percentage. Now it says CP of 10 items and SP of 9 items. So we already know that the if we calculate SP upon CP this can really solve our question. So what we'll do is instead of taking X and Y we will say CP of 10 items if one items CP is CP and for 10 items it would be 10 into CP 
the cost price of 10 items is equal to the selling price of what of 9 items correct that means can we calculate SP upon CP again this is very simple SP upon CP so this becomes 10 upon 9 now you can see if it's 10 upon 9 meaning SP is greater that means this is definitely profit and what is profit profit is obviously 1 upon 9 now 1 by 9 if you remember the class on fractions ratio and proportion 1 by 9 is nothing but 11.11 so this is a 5 second question that means all we had to calculate is we had to put it in this format and the moment we do that we get our answer let's look at another question by selling 25 liters of milk at 50 per liter a merchant earns a profit equal to cost price of 5 liters find the profit percentage now one thing I want you to realize is that if we calculate want to calculate profit percentage we need not calculate actual profit even if we know the ratio of SP by CP I think our job will be done now he's saying profit is given now profit is what selling price minus cost price so in this case profit is how much it says by selling 25 liters of milk okay so let's say SP of 25 right 25 into SP minus 25 into CP correct this is selling price of 25 items minus cost price of 25 items this should be what this should be my profit and it says the profit is equal to cost price of 5 liters that means this is equal to 5 CP now can I calculate my 25 SP equals to how much this 25 comes goes this side this is 30 CP that means I can again get my very important ratio SP by CP and this comes to how much this comes to 30 upon 25 I can also write it as 6 by 5 6 by 5 meaning what is my profit percentage it is 1 by 5 1 by 5 is nothing but 20 percent so this is again a 10 second question so as you've noticed that we are extensively using this ratio SP by CP to make our life easy and attempt these questions in 10 to 15 seconds now let's move to two more uh, terminology that is used two more terminology so one is marking up and one is discounting so I'm sure we're aware what is the meaning of markup right so markup is nothing but the price so for example let's say I have a cost price of 100 but what I'll do is if you go to a showroom you will see the markup you will not see the cost price let's say it's written as 140 that's the tag which says so what I've done is I have marked up by 40 percent I have marked up by 40 percent now 40 percent on what always remember you mark up on the cost price right and not on the selling price and you mark it up by 40 percent on cost price it becomes 140 now similarly there is a familiar concept which is your discounting right so again discounting also we know now discounting what we do is on your marked up price so let's say your marked up price is 140 they may say that okay there's a 10% discount 10% discount on what on the marked up price so what would the effective uh, price would be 126 rupees why because 10% of this I'll subtract from this 140 minus 10% of 140 which comes to 126 this is very simple concept of discounting and markup now once we understand this how we will solve these questions okay so sometimes they will say that you have to calculate let's say the effective the the effective change the effective uh, profit or loss right when let's say these effects are implied so what we'll do is I will always put it in the form of SP by CP and how I will calculate is that the effective change the effective sorry this is effective change would be a function of my marking up and discounting it somehow is similar to that concept of successive percentage change if you remember right so what we are doing is we are saying that how do we calculate this will be in the form of SP upon CP and how I will calculate this effective change would be I would say marking up now how do I represent marking up it's very very easy if let's say I say uh, 
something is marked up by 20%. What this means now in SP by CP terms, if I have to write it, the marked up price, what will I do? Something is marked up by 20%. So can I say this is 6 upon 5, right? Because 5 is let's say my cost price and 20% plus, right? So it's 6 upon 5. That means if somebody says 20% marked up, this is how I will represent it. But what about discounting? What about discounting? So if somebody says that let's say there is a 5% discount, how will you represent this? 5% discount. So if I have to represent it in SP by CP form, right? SP upon CP. So what will I do? I can say 5% discount meaning let's say something that I got for, let's say the shopkeeper got for 100. But what he's saying is he's saying that 100 rupee value I am giving you for how I am giving you at 95, correct? That is 5% discount, isn't it, right? So this is how you will represent your discount. Or if it says at 20% discount, right? So what would it be 20% discount meaning? I would say this is will be, let's say my four upon five, isn't it, right? That means one by five is the discount percentage and four by five. So now when questions like this come, what you'll do is you will represent it in the same form. So if somebody says this is marked up by 10%, so you can say 11 upon 10. And then they say there's a discount of 10% on the same, right? 10% change, 10% discount meaning if let's say this is your 10 rupees, 10% discount meaning 9 by 10. So your effective change would be nothing but 99 upon 100. And which I'm sure SP by CP, you will realize how much SP is less. That means you are incurring a 1% loss, right? So this is very simple. Now we'll use the same concept to uh, in the future questions. So here it says a shopkeeper marks up his goods by 20%. Okay, 20% he marks it up. So that means I can write it as six by five. I just explained you, right? If five is your cost price. So how will I say, I'll say my resultant would be a product of my marking up and discount. Discount is 20%. The 20% discount meaning what? Meaning this would be 4 upon 5, right? This means what would it be? It will be 24 upon 25. Now this is very easy. 24 by 25 loss percentage would be 1 upon 25 or 1 by 25 into 100. This is my 4%. And what is 4%? This is loss. So extremely easy by this approach, we can solve these questions in five seconds and no unnecessary getting into calculations. I could have done this by assuming 100 also, but the problem is that you will not be able to apply everywhere. Sometimes the, uh, the, the number that you assume 100, you may get into calculations. So maybe the next question when we solve, you'll get an idea. Now a trader gives 14.28% discount on his goods and make a loss of 4%. Oh, he already makes a loss. So now you see in our equation, what we did is we said the resultant, right? Or the effective change, what has happened, effective result, right? So what happened is he has done, uh, this is, let's say your marking up, right? Into your discounting, correct? This is the simple equation, right? That we were using. Now the resultant effective changes 4% meaning can I write as finally it is 96 upon 100 in SP by CP form and this equals to what marking up is what this is what we have to calculate okay let's assume this is x into 14.28% discount if you remember our fractions class uh, you'll remember 14.28 is nothing but 1 by 7 that means if he offers a discount of 1 by 7 that means it would be 6 by 7 this discount right what this means is that if I have to calculate for x, 6 into 16, 96, x equals to 16 into 7 upon 100, which is nothing but 10, 7, 70, 42. This is 1, 1, 2 upon 100. That means what? That means this is 12 upon 100. That means you had marked it up by 12%, right? So that's your answer. So as you can see, what did we do finally? We know this basic formula of resultant change and this will be a product of these two things and we will always write it in the format of SP by CP. We also learn how to represent discounting or marking up in this format. So this is extremely, extremely simple and important concept 
and will help us solve our questions in 5 to 10 seconds. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.